Hey guys, Bolt here. We're here for Nancy Drew. So we're doing um, just 20 minutes of this first few. Um, and the next one will also be short because I'm doing this in a short span of a day. So I do gotta get some stuff done before leaving for work. So let's get this game going. Welcome to my latest case. The Dear Ned, greetings from jolly old England. Although right now I'm not so sure about the jolly part. That's because I'm on my way to Blackmore Manor, where the daughter of one of our neighbors is living. The daughter, whose name is Linda, recently married Hugh Pendleton, a British diplomat. Hugh travels a lot, so the only people at the manor with Linda are Hugh's aunt, Mrs. Drake, and Hugh's 12-year-old daughter, Jane. The thing is, ever since Linda moved into the manor, her health has gone downhill. She's practically bedridden, and no one seems to know why. Her mother is convinced something is terribly wrong and wants me to find out what. So here I am, about to be dropped off at a huge centuries-old mansion in the middle of a dark, foggy moor. I can't tell whether the butterflies in my stomach are because I'm excited or just a tad creeped out. Talk to you soon, I hope. Nancy. No, I miss you. Good luck. child over there I mean something was out there uh, come in I'm mrs. Drake I take it you and Nancy drew yes and I really did see something mrs. Drake I heard something too uh, people are always seeing and hearing things on the moor at night especially you Americans why don't you just go on up to your room? It's the one with the moon on the door. I'd like to see Linda, if I could. I'm afraid Linda is uh, not quite ready to meet with you just now. But please, come see me after you've unpacked. I'll be in the conservatory. All right, thank you. Oh, all right. Right before we get going, I gotta go get something off. Okay. Oop. Hold on one second. I'm sending a text. Let's get into this. Uh, I think probably. Oh, they got the same. Uh, oh no, no, George, your best. No. I guess that makes sense. This last one, they only had George and best, not Ned. Hello. Hi, Ned. Hey, Nancy. Just wanted to let you know I got here safely. So how's Blackmore Manor? A little on the spooky side. And what has Detective Drew discovered so far? Just calling to say hi. I'll talk to you soon. I'll be waiting. And then who is... I'll learn more about that. So we got box.
Okay, that'll be a figure out what the what each of those symbols mean, which looks like Chinese stuff. John Pendleton. So we got some symbols. Uh, so uh, Egyptian gods. Um, this looks like biblical. Um, these look like Chinese. That's just straight up a Hogwarts look like. I need to read. I need to figure out what this says. And those have different colors too. And there is a ram, a snake, a lion, a rabbit, and fish. Nothing at the bottom. Alright, so. Basically, what I need to know. This looks eclipsed. Well, a new moon, that's what it looks like. And then the other ones, I need to figure out what direction it starts with. All right, um, anything in Miss Nancy's kit? Why did I open this? I'm guessing something's supposed to hide here or something. Wonder what goes there. Something fits in here, but what? Okay, this isn't. This look it looks like it goes to something else. Northwest, east. Oh, Leo is okay. Here we go. Um, 
So, oh, it's a Lynx. Draco, Pisces. These, uh, these is astrology. We're still going to have to figure out what this means. Maybe this is supposed to be the new moon. So the snake, so snake, lion, rabbit, fish, and then the I'm guessing there will be more puzzles like this. So red full moon, red third quarter, green half, blue reverse third quarter. It was that, the Leo, That's fine. And then it's a reverse qu uh, third quarter. Sits on a tripod. So we got a lens. So we're probably going to be required to look at the stars. This is really big on astrology. Um, so this is going to help me probably open more boxes. Which, here's where the telescope would be. So I got a piece of the puzzle. And I'm going to be unlocking pieces throughout the game. Um, and I am attempting to get as far as I can without cheating this time. Um, oh, we... Oh, wait, that's... Okay. Oh, that's the alarm clock. Okay. So that's how I cook, call within the facility. All right. Let me save since I got that puzzle done. All right. something else for this. Okay. Oh, forget it. Stay in Italy as long as you want them. Some kind of husband you're proving to be. It's not all in my head. Don't bother. Woo! <laughs> 
just a parrot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you didn't. Did you? Did you? What's your name? Lola. Okay, I get the point. Lulu. Lolo, 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 Lolo. Do you by any chance know Latin? Quiste Rogare, Fede, Bidi, Vici, Semper, Ubi, Sabubi, Moritori, Tetris, I'll take that as a yes. Would you mind translating something for me? Fire away. Brumar. Bruma. Bruma? The longest day of the year is solstitia, the summer solstice. The shortest day is Bruma, the winter solstice. Equinoctium vernum is a spring equinox. Equinoctium eternalis is a fall equinox. Day equals night. Lulu's always right. The longest day of the year is solstice. The summer solstice, the shortest day is the winter solstice. The winter solstice. The winter solstice, okay? I'll get the rest of these just in case. Quinotem Vernum is spring. And then that's an equinox. And then the Quin Autum Autum Alas is the fall equinox. All right. Bye, bird. How good are you at getting hints? Tell your trouble to Lulu. I need a hint as to what to do with a lens I found in that Starbucks thing. Tell it, girl. Let's just go in telescope. But where's the telescope? Jay took it. Jay took it. Never trust a kid. Bye, bird. Love your uncle. Drop in the morning to you, matey. How about a hint? Lulu hungry. Lulu want cake first. You're pretty spoiled for a bird, you know that? What Lulu wants, Lulu gets. Jane's room. Jane's room. Look in Jane's room. All right, I guess I'll look in Jane's room. <laughs> I need the key. Just imagine that someone. Is a stupid bird. Polly is a stupid bird. I can't leave Blackmore yet. So there's gorgoyles. There's going to be some history lesson about these things. That's just straight up what Gryffindor looks like to me. Alright. There's a lot of Latin. Looks like a piece is missing. Okay, so if I need to figure out who goes to what, I look at these. They have a lot of like different pieces of culture. Um, it stopped working. 
Aw. So I gotta find pieces to fix that. That's Greek mythology. I don't know if there's anything. Huh? Looks like a piece is missing. So there's that. So I gotta find a moon, a helmet. Oh, lightning bolt. Looks like a piece is missing. I need something else for this. He's got like a red ball or something. Looks like a piece is missing. Which would be nice to see what the other sides look like. Looks like a coin of some sort. And then... Looks like a piece is missing. Your clicker! Alright. Um... Is the greenhouse? Looks like John Pendleton may have developed some of the plants that are in here himself. Doesn't work. I probably would need to do that or something. Alright. There's a lot of puzzles. Before I talk to her, we do have the end of this episode, but it looks like there's, it's puzzles galore for this one. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.